Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Canva mobile app so that you can create any graphic designs you want on the go at any time, anywhere. This app is so useful. The very first thing you have to do, of course, is download the app. From here, you will create an account if you don't have one. The process is very simple, very self-explanatory. And this is what the home page will look like. If you've never used it before at first, it's going to look very confusing. You may not even know where to start, what to do, but I'm going to walk you through the whole thing and you are going to know how to use it to create all your graphic needs by the end of this. Let's start with a walkthrough of this home page. At the very top here, you can use the search bar to search for whatever you want. You can search for things like Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnails, but you can also input keywords to find different things. So if I click on it and I type even inspirational, here you see inspirational bookmarks. If I type in business, it'll start showing me all the kind of business things you can create. Further down here, you see it divided into different categories as well. So you can just click on any of these to find the template you want to use. And as you scroll, even further you'll see all different kinds of templates and other things I will show you how to start editing a template shortly let's go on to this folder that says designs once you start creating your design it will save it for you automatically here's where you will find all your designs and then you can also access it with the web version of Canva each design will have three dots on the top right hand corner if you click on it here's where you can edit view rename make a copy or delete each design back on the home screen here on the bottom right we also have this plus button and here's where you can create a design from scratch if you don't want to use their templates you can create one here just choose from the different dimensions that they have or you can click the dimension sizes up top and input your own just click on the width the height or you can change it from pixels to inches centimeters and all these different things here so if you have a certain dimensions you need you can also do that so today I will be showing you how I created the very thumbnail for this video but I'm just going to click on one of these Instagram post templates so I can show you how you would edit those if you wanted to use one of these templates so let's go with this one that says surviving motherhood here at the bottom, it gives you different options as to which one you want to edit and choose to create, or you can scroll down for even more recommendations. I'll go ahead and pick this one here with the dog and I'm going to click on edit. Let's start on the top left with this back arrow. Obviously this will take you back to where you came from. Next to that we have the undo and redo arrows. So those are very useful when you make a mistake and you accidentally delete something and you want things to go back to how they were. That's the fastest way to do that. Next we have this icon that looks like three stacked papers here's where you resize an image so this here is an Instagram post so it has the dimensions of an Instagram post but if you wanted this very image as a YouTube thumbnail a Facebook post instead you can easily do that by clicking that button here just swipe to the left and it'll resize an image for you once you find the one you want click on resize and it'll automatically save that image for you next we have this icon that looks like a couple people and here's where you can send links or edit edit the link of this graphic when you're ready to download or export your image you're going to click this arrow that is going up and it's blue and then you'll receive all these options as to what you want to do. You can post it directly to Instagram, Instagram Story, Pinterest, send it as an email, save it to your phone. You have lots of options here. Moving on to the bottom left hand corner where there's this number one with the square around it. Here's where you will access your pages. Right now we only have one page, but if I click the plus button that is shown here in the middle, it'll give me another page. And if I keep clicking that button, it'll give me even more pages. And to delete a page, I just click the trash button. And if I wanted to copy this very image to add another page, I just click the icon that shows like two pages stacked on top of one another. Now this doesn't really pertain to this particular graphic, but it would be very useful for like a ebook or something that requires more than one page. To exit out of this pages, we're just going to click the X button on the bottom left corner and let's explore the plus button on the right 
bottom corner. Here's where you can start adding your text. You can add an image, a video, stickers, and if you swipe, you'll see that you can also add illustrations, a new template, any logos that you have pre-saved, and here is where you can also add a page if you wanted to. To start editing this Instagram template, you just click on anything you want to edit. You can edit the elements by simply clicking on it and down here at the bottom it'll let you change the transparency by sliding over the slider here. It'll let you change the color by clicking the pencil icon. This is a element that is ombre so it is both pink and white that's why there is two pencil icons and you can change the color of either the white or the pink so if i change the white it'll start being pink and blue ombre instead of pink and white and if you want to apply just click the check mark if you want to delete what you just did just click the x you can also edit the text so just click on the text and down below it you'll have all the different options you can change the font just pick any font you want or search for one the ones that have the crown are for canva pro users and the ones that don't are free to use i'll go with that one and just click the check mark when you're done you can also change the font size by using the slider here check mark when done but another way to change the font size is by dragging these corners here and just drag it until you're happy with the size of it next you can also change the font color by clicking this square here colors on top are the colors that are on this very graphic the colors below that are brand colors and these are colors that I've added to Canva, colors that I want to use over and over again. And below that we have default colors which are your main colors. But if you wanted to create a specific color, just click the very first box that has a plus button. And here you can move around the slider and move around the bottom slider as well until you get the color that you want and of course if you have a hex code you can add it here where it has the hashtag and then the numbers and then below that we can left align right align center align the text we can make it bold italicized the double a's means it'll make it all capital or make it normal next to that we have spacing and here's where you can change the spacing around of either your letters or your lines so letters if i move it in it'll make my letters closer together if i slide the slider over to the right it'll pull my letters apart and then the line height will make the words closer together or farther apart Let's talk about the icons on the top right corner. The first one that looks like two papers again is copy. So if I click on that, it will copy the element I have selected. I had the text selected, so now it made a copy of that. And then to trash it, I just click the button right next to that. That looks like a trash can. The next one is these three dots with the circle around it. And if you click on that, you'll find even more things to do with these elements on the graphic. The first one, is to change the transparency so if i move it over it'll make it lighter or darker then we have the layer options the one with the down arrow will make the element you have selected go to the back of whatever it's on top of so this pink element here is on top of the dog picture at the bottom corner if i click it it will make it go to the back and it'll do it in layers until it goes to the very back if you want it to go to the front you use the one with the arrow pointing up and it'll move it up one layer at a time until you're happy with how it is and when you're done just click the check mark the last option i want to talk about on the top right hand corner is this crop option so this picture is actually a long picture but the way they have it set up is for it to show just this part and you can use your fingers to squeeze in or out and resize the picture until it's how you want it click the check mark when done and that's just a quick overview of how to use this app and how to edit a template and here is the thumbnail that I created for this video I'm just going to be recreating it with you so I can show you some tips and tricks along the way the very first thing we're going to do is add a new page i'm going to click on the bottom left corner the square with the number on it and click add when i clicked add it added the background that was on this photo i'm just going to delete it by clicking on it and hitting the trash can button 
and you can just swipe to access the different pages on your design. So I'm going to click on this white page and at the bottom it's going to give me options for my background. I can choose um, from my own gallery a background that I want. I can search for an image from Canvas Library or I can make it a solid color. For the background that I have on that thumbnail I searched for I'm pretty sure it was like explosion background yes and here it is it's this first blue one here and remember you can always resize and move around the image for your background by moving it further in or out with both fingers next we're going to add the white phones and to do that I'm going to click the plus button on the bottom right and then it'll give us the options for text, image, video, stickers, illustrations, and all of that. For the phones, I went to illustrations and I searched for phone. And here's the one that I use. So I'm just going to click on it and it will add it to my image here. And again, you can resize the element by dragging the corners. And then to change the color of the phone, I'm going to click the pencil icon with the square around it and change it to white click the check mark button and we're going to change the white portion to a red color now i'm going to click the copy button to get another phone just like it but this one i'm going to change the secondary color to a pink now i'm going to add the images inside the phones clicking the plus button again i'm going to click on image and i'm going to search canvas library i'm going to click the image and just resize it and move the image around until it fits inside the phone the way i want it i don't think i've made this clear before but to move the image around like this you just click and hold and drag to where you want it and obviously to resize you just hold the corners and move closer together or farther apart or you can use these on the side to make it wider once the image is how you want it click the check mark now we're going to add the image to the other phone so the plus button the image this is the one i used here so again i'm just going to drag it over the top of the phone and resize it there now it fits nicely inside the phone but what i don't like about it is that the youtube icon is covered up and that's something that I want to show in the picture. So I'm going to click on it to go to the crop option and I'm going to scoot it over just so that YouTube icon is more prominent on the actual picture. But one more thing I did to this design is add the Instagram icon on top of it. I'm going to click on illustrations and search Instagram. And this is the icon I used. Now I just made it the size that I wanted. Tap and hold and scoot over the top of the picture. The next thing we're going to do is add the text. Click the plus button again and click the text. The first option lets you add your own text however you want. But if you scroll down here you have text templates and these are expertly paired fonts because there is a method to this. This is something that professionals know about what fonts go well with what other fonts and to use one of these templates just click on it and here below you have different options. Of course the transparency if you want to make it darker or lighter. The pencil icon here will let you change the color of things around and up at the top right hand corner the very first option the circle with the square around it is to ungroup the elements in this text template those are all different sets of text and the lines around it those are all separate but they're grouped together so if you move it around it moves together to ungroup it just click that circle with the square and now you can move one thing at a time now with canva on the web version you can group things together and ungroup them but here with this mobile app you can only ungroup items you can't group them together i like having that option but um, i'm sure canva will get around to it but as of right now you cannot group items together but moving along with the options here on the top right corner of course the trash is to delete it if you don't want it the circle with the three icons will again let you change the transparency or move the layers around so if i had this on top of this picture but i want it it to be more towards the back click the layer icon with the down arrow until it's where you want it and at the bottom 
we've already talked about these options for now i'm going to delete this element and i'm going to use my own text and i'm going to press enter for each word next i'm going to capitalize everything i'm going to change the font i'm going to resize it i'm going to change the spacing some fonts will let you bold or italicize and some won't so my way around that is to just make a copy of this text tap and hold and put it right on top and that way it will make it bold for me so that you can see it much better the last thing we're going to do is add the arrow and the made in canva text for the arrow i'm going to click on plus and illustrations and search up arrow i think i put double arrow for this one so here's the one i used and i'm just going to drag it down and resize it now this is about the size i want but i don't want it to be on top of my s and t on the word fast so i'm going to click the circle with three dots and click the layer icon with the down arrow so that it goes behind the text and next we're going to add the canva logo on top by clicking illustrations and searching for canva and i'm also going to change it to that red color and that is it we're done this is how i made this youtube thumbnail the elements that have the word canva stamped on top of it are watermarks because these images you need to pay for if you don't have canva pro you have to pay a dollar for each one, which is a very good price. Or you can download Canva Pro and pay $12.95 a month. Another option you have so that you don't have to pay anything to download your graphic is to use the filters. So when you're looking for an image, you click these three little sliders that are on the right hand side. And you slide over this free option here. And now Canva will only show you the free images to use. Same thing if you're adding an illustration. Choose the filter and make sure that the free is marked here so that it will only show you free options. And that way you can create your whole design for free and you can download it without a problem. So either way you want to go about it, when you're done, just click the download button. And you can export it to wherever you want or click save image and here it'll tell you what you need to pay for so i'm just going to click on buy three credits and if i go to my gallery here i have a canva folder and here's where the image has been downloaded and as you can see the watermark is removed and my design is ready to be uploaded to youtube or if it's a social media graphic it's ready to be shared there and that's it for this tutorial i really hope i explained everything well and that you learned a lot from this let me know down below if you have any further questions if this tutorial did help you out let me know that down below as well don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and more videos like this one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time